Hi, everyone. This is Diane, and welcome back. I do want to restate my disclaimer at the beginning of this video. I am not a medical or psychological professional, and I want to add that all thoughts I share in this video and this series are my opinion. But I welcome everyone to really think about some of the information that I'm sharing because it could really impact um, you or someone that you know, and it could really help them if you just step outside the box and think about some of the things that I'm sharing. So with that, let's continue talking about all things energy. We're recognizing how things in the world around us are affecting our energy, but we also need to turn that around and realize that we are energy bodies impacting the things around us. And this is why we often hear the saying, if you want to change the world around you, start with yourself. So just a note on that as well. In this video, we are stepping back to ensure that we really understand the impact the physical world has on our physical health. And when we're affecting our physical health, we're also affecting our emotional and our mental health. And in turn, since all energy flows both ways, any impact on our mental and emotional health is going to very much impact our physical health. So now what is so important about the nervous system that we got to go back there one more time and revisit this, but we know that it's taking in the vibrating energy from the atoms in the world around us, and it's sending messages to the brain to help us make sense of the world that we're living in. But what else is about the nervous system that we need to know and recognize as part of this whole energy thing that we've been talking about? From health class, we may, we may remember I didn't at first, but that the nervous system is comprised of two parts. The central nervous system is the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system is all the nerves that are sending messages to the um, to the central nervous system. But for this um, for this purpose, we are just going to look at it as one system. And also, when I was looking through my resources, I was shocked to see that there are over six hundred neurological disorders that exist, showing us that a vast amount of imbalance can occur within the, the nervous system. Okay, knowing that all energy impacts other energy, let's look at that information because it the body is one functioning, you know, um, energy body. So if the nervous system is receiving information, which is just energy, that's impacting the other systems of the body. So a really quick recap on the other systems of the body. The immune system and the lymph system work hand in hand with the nervous system because as the body is receiving information and energy in, the immune system is analyzing it saying, do I know what this is? Do I need to you know, send out um, you know, white cells to combat it at all? And this revisits what was stated in a previous video. If we don't know what we're consuming, what are the chances that our body will? So another, another aspect there, what about the endocrine system? How often do we think about our endocrine system? How often do we think about many of these systems? So the endocrine system is our hormone um, powerhouse. This is what's regulating all the systems in the body. But this is also the one that gets completely out of, completely out of whack when we're eating um, things from the plastics go onto our, you know, into our foods or products or whatever, metal from the food cans, detergents, um, processed foods, genetically modified foods, the cleaning products, um, body care products that may have toxins or substances in there. What about the circulation, uh, the circulatory system? We all know about this one, but sometimes we forget that the hormones that regulate or speed up or slow down our natural heart rate are hormones, which again is back to the endocrine system that gets so easily disrupted by some of the substances in our everyday world. We think about our digestive system as our, our stomach and our colon, um, and maybe even our mouth um, as taking in the food, but the digestive system also contains, or as part of the liver, the gallbladder, um, the pancreas, and those are known for, you know, the enzymes, which of course, when you're creating enzymes are very much impacted by the hormonal messages being received from the endocrine system, which works with the nervous system and see how this is all connected. So to sum this all up, we just want to really want to grasp, understand that the nervous system interacts with every other system in the body and every other system in the body interacts with all the other systems. 
All of our cells, organs, and glands are receiving instructions through the nervous system. So if our nervous system is compromised, this very much is going to trigger an impact on the immune system, the lymph system, hormonal balance, and every other system in the body. So anyone that is currently looking for relief of a physical, mental, and emotional concern, just really take a moment to look at the nervous system because if the nervous system is being overstimulated in any way, it could be very well taking energy from other systems so it can do its job of receiving all of the information and it's being overstimulated, but then it's stealing the energy from the other systems to do their job correctly. Um, and also, this is a great time. I know I mentioned before about empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people, but they are often overstimulated stimulated by emotions and thoughts of other people that they're being, um, that they meet or that they're with. But if their nervous system is being overstimulated with all of that, and then on top of that, if it's um, the receiving overload of other non-physical energy, it can really impact them and all of us. Um, now, in the second video, we talked about the non-physical energies that are impacting us, right? We talked about our thoughts. We talked about our emotions. We talked about limiting beliefs and our belief structure in and of itself. But one very powerful and present impact that's affecting everybody's energy body that we haven't mentioned, but could powerfully be the most impactful one um, that we have currently in our lives. And that is the EMFs. Um, they're very much a part of our world right now and it's growing and growing, but we need to recognize that we are humans, we're electromagnetic bodies. And we'd be doing ourselves a huge disservice if we ignore the aspect of EMFs when talking about the health of our energy body. Many discount the, the impacts of EMFs or the hormones that are put in livestock or the pesticides that are on plants and um, or the, the plastics or the, the unknown substances or unusual substances and products. They're saying it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit. But when you take that little bit and you add it up, there's a name for that, and it's called toxic overload. And when I say toxic overload, that, you know, it could be products, it could be from the energy, it could just be from overstimulation. But um, when our physical bodies become overwhelmed with the unknown and are unable to process, they're not going to run efficiently. And if the physical body, it's, it's, it's an overlay of the energy body, and or an energy body is an overlay of the physical, however you want to term that, it's very much impacting it. So the ticket with this is our human bodies existed for thousands of years, not being exposed to these frequencies. And just like for thousands of years, we existed without pesticides on our foods or hormones injected in the livestock. And for thousands of years, we never knew cancer. We never knew Epstein-Barr, that they didn't exist. And probably those 600 neurological orders didn't exist either. So our physical bodies are, are possibly showing the impact of all of these unknown substance, substances. And with the rapid increase of EMFs in our world and the other frequencies and many things just disrupting our natural flow, it very much is disrupting the flow of our energy body. So there was an article published by the National Library of Medicine, and this I'm going to just include this here, but EMF disrupts the chemical structures of tissues since a high degree of electromagnetic energy absorption can change the electric current in the body. As a result, this exposure, as a result of this exposure, the functions of the organs are affected. Now that is huge when you think about you know, it was actually a published article in the National Library, um, and it just really kind of wakes us up, but we're empowered now. We know it, and that's that was my goal of sharing with everyone here and putting it and including it, and hence my disclaimer in the beginning, because it's hard to, to think about how this could really be overwhelming, but now that we know, once we know about something, you can't unknow it. Um, and once you're aware of it, you can take steps to limit it. And that's what we're going to do here. So that brings us to our homework. So your homework for this week, and hopefully going past the next week, 
is just really focus on trying to, at first, um, try to just limit your um, EMF exposure for 30 minutes a day. Um, so that means it's a simple thing of like hardwire the laptop or computer you use the most. Or if your child is using one, you know, get them hardwired um, on their device so the, the EMFs are not bothering them quite as much. Um, turn the phone on airplane mode or leave it at home if you go out for a walk. You know, when you're in nature, just allow that natural energy to work on your, your body. Avoid the wireless earbuds because that's going straight to your brain. And we know that the brain is sending messages to our body on the, the systems that we don't think about. And we're going to sleep and we're going to work out with our phone six feet away from the body. So little simple things that we can do to really eliminate and, you know, limit um, the impact of EMFs on our physical body. And that'll, you know, that'll just really help and just being aware and then hopefully just have that become a new habit. Um, but if we can sleep away from wireless devices and away from our phone, having the, you know, however long you are allowed to sleep in your, in your busy world, um, to have that, you know, six to eight hours, nine hours, maybe with the phone, um, or all wireless things just away from you, that is really going to help. And today there's even some extra credit. If you want to begin to play with some energy healing techniques to help with the EMFs, you can take a salt bath. Salt baths help take that out of our um, help take that out of us and clear that from us. Or you can head over to a, a local crystal store and pick up some crystals to put around some of your wireless devices to help absorb some of the EMFs. I personally like black tourmaline, um, hematite. Shungite is my personal favorite. I have a beautiful necklace that's Shungite and pyrite as well. So you can play with those tools if that calls to you as well. So thanks for joining me today and hopefully um, just give you something to think about with the information shared here. In the next video, we'll dive, dive deeper into the layers of the energy body because there's different layers. So until then, have a wonderful day. Namaste.